Hey, genuine well-wishers and constructive critics to whom I am thankful for letting me know my negatives. At the outset, I wish you a bit of a safe journey this year, 2023 too, as well as subsequent years. In spite of the three waves of Corona, with the fourth and the subsequent waves in pipeline in progress, all variants of concern in full swing in India, all with high mortality rates besides other natural calamities all over the globe. It is social activist and good-hearted preacher, Professor Yesuresh, back with the sheer ecstasy, enticed with altruistic curiosity to learn the unknowns like an infant for my 205th video, 205, on Angle of Publication on YouTube today, 30th January 2023, Monday. The topic for today is how to be a winner in salary negotiation. At the outset, I assure my videos are always short and sweet, worth every femtosecond of your precious time. All of us are mortal. Humans are immortal, but our videos are immortal. We live forever through our videos, for sure. Hence, I am confident that I live forever, having published 205 videos. So, including this particular video so far, for the benefit of society, that too, absolutely free. Salary. Salary, the term originated from uh, salt. Those days, they used to pay the salary uh, by giving the employees salt. Even in villages, even today, nowadays in villages, they pay the salary not as money, but as some produce in the farms. Okay, anyhow, salary means money that is paid regularly for doing work on a monthly basis, normally for skilled employees, wage paid on an hourly, daily basis based on work done for unskilled, semi-skilled employees. Both salary and wages should be compatible to the qualifications, skills required to execute the tasks assigned. Jobs are classified based on qualifications and skills required or execution called as merit rating. Salary negotiation. First, be knowledgeable of your market value. Never argue. Justify your demand with valid supporting documents. Private companies will offer better salary if you are able to impress the prospective employer with your achievements. Salary structure is not rigid. In other words, it is flexible and dynamic. First impression counts a lot. That is always known as chemistry, bond with the employer. Spend time on getting adequate information about the prospective organization and the requirements. Prospective employer should see you as an asset and not a liability. Always carry all documents to prove your worthiness. Always wear formal dress. Never use strong deodorants, perfumes. No skin show in interviews. Maintain good hygiene. Sometimes prospective employees will conduct stress interviews to check your tolerance level. So be calm and composed. Smile in moderation. Never undersell yourself. Always focus on your postures and direct the interviewers to raise questions based on these postures. Spend some time thinking about the ways your skills can make positive concrete contributions to your employer's organization. Rigors beforehand for the interview. Prepare thoroughly. Answer only the questions raised. Never indulge in wastage of interviewers' invaluable time. Never raise a salary question during interviews. If they are impressed, suddenly they themselves will give you the opportunity to state your salary expectations. Postpone the negotiation. Avoid mentioning your last salary. Make them talk first. Keep your options open. Up the ante. Narrow the gap. Negotiate future salary increases. Avoid bluffing. Stand your ground. No telephone negotiation ever. Get the offer in writing. Never decide instantaneously. Politely make a request for some time to think it over for a proper decision making. Make them feel that you are a team player. and not egoistic. Promotions and salary increases. Promotions happen when you move up the, to the next job in your career path and it usually represents a jump to the higher pay grade as well. Raises are when you move to a higher salary. This means this may mean just moving up to the right 
toward the top of the pay grade in a current pay grade or it could mean moving into a higher pay grade and moving up within the new pay grade. Specify and quantify your contribution for organization's benefit as much as, as, much as possible. Submit proof of betterment of skills and qualifications. List your additional responsibilities. Focus on your achievements, especially meeting their expectations and going beyond that, your loyalty and honesty. If you have better offers, let your present employer know. Quantify your contribution to cost reduction besides value addition of the products and services. Quantify your contribution for additional revenue generation. Mention your, your initiatives for betterment of the organization. Never exaggerate your claims. Wait for the right opportunity as well as time. Be prepared to submit a request for salary increase or promotion with uh, adequate enclosures. All organizations conduct performance review normally once a year. That's the best time to raise a request for salary increase. Strictly speaking, there are no hard and fast rules for salary negotiations. Salary increases and promotions apply your intuition and presence of mind since what works for one may not work for the other. Always exercise caution and be on your guard all the time. Basically, one should make the employer realize your value and provide hints how your skills and qualifications can be utilized for for organization's benefit. In the long run, of course. Debates, discussion on open-ended topics like this can go on forever. Anyhow, let me pull the plug here. We'll meet again real soon with another interesting topic. Some of the statements we use express our solely mind based on limited knowledge gained over six decades of first-rate experience. Always watch these videos with the closed caption subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension. As for my sincere recommendation, zillion times so far. I have made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum. Today I must have made it in 8 minutes. This time will be self-imposed to retain the viewer's attention as a norm. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing. Attributed to pandemic novel COVID-19 and prolong your lifestyle. In a healthy life, God, also known as the supreme power, is the one and only one who can put a stop to natural, unnatural, maybe bio war and cyber war events like pandemics and epidemics, which ultimately pays a way for apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on earth for no fault of theirs. Rest in peace and harmony.